And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo Leona in ranked. I was kind of looking through some of the champions that haven't played very much, and these were two that were closer to the bottom, haven't played as much Yasuo or Leona, and so wanted to play a Yasuo Leona deck. You know, they work pretty well together. They've they've uh, kind of gotten some different buffs here recently, like with Daybreak, we got Solari Priestess turning into a 2-2 now instead of a 1-2, and Robin is now huge at 5-6. Robin is really, really big. So it's kind of thinking, okay, well, if we're playing, you know, Yasuo Leona with our different stun stuff, like how are we winning the games? Because that's the thing, like you can play, uh, you know, you can stun some stuff, kind of play a mid range deck, get some things in play, but like how do you actually finish the games and win them? And so I got two answers here. We're going to be trying Zenith Blade uh, Overwhelm, you know, maybe like on Blade Twirler, giving this thing that can get buffed up quite a bit, give this thing Overwhelm. Or also Morning Light. I think that maybe Morning Light's just kind of like that underrated thing that you actually need to play to finish out the games, you know, like uh, you get your Leona in play or Solari Sunhawk in play and be able to stun blockers and uh, grow your allies a bunch and, and attack in for a, you know, a huge attack. So we're going to be playing a couple Morning Lights there. Um, denies are always good these days. We're going to be playing three Denies. A lot of people playing like Jace decks that have expensive cards to deny or um, F Feel the Rush decks are starting to get really popular and glorious evolution that kind of stuff so we're gonna be playing three denies not as many spells in here a good amount of units because of course you need like your units for daybreak but a lot of these units kind of act or yeah the units act as spells like the sunhawk stunning the leona stunning like those are spell effects you know yone stunning and then they can kind of replace themselves like robin creates another daybreak card for you uh solari priestess invoking loping telescope of course so we can get some extra cards with our units as well we had one extra slot, you know, I put in, I basically had 39 that I definitely wanted to play. I had one extra slot, decided to go with the Heavens Aligned, because this is just a, a really cheap Daybreak card that's so good with Robin. You know, you can drop Robin, then use a spell mana, Heavens Aligned, and then you get you get both the Daybreak and the Nightfall bonus. You can create two in hand, and you get one towards your Leona level up. Uh, so going with that, but there's, uh, we kind of went through, there's like 15 cards that are like good that you could definitely play there, um, but going with that. All right, uh, go with Homecoming because it's two recalls for Yasuo level up. You know how you have to get to five plus stun slash recalls, so this is two. So we'll go with Homecoming, and you know Homecoming Solari Sunhawk's pretty nice of putting that back in your hand or any of these really. Um, so we'll go with that. All right, let's get to it. We're gonna be heading on over to Ranked and playing five games over there with Yasuo Leona. All right, well, it looks like we got a landmark deck. So decide to play Loping Telescope over Solari Sunforger, where the Solari Sunforger, of course, would help Leona level up. But Loping Telescope is just kind of too good. That's what I was thinking. I wonder if we need Homecoming for, like, like this can go. I wonder if we need Homecoming for, like, bouncing a landmark, if there's, like, a specific landmark that we want to put back into their hand that we want to recall. I don't know. Kind of... I don't know. This isn't, like, a Thrall deck that's, like, going to go all in on one landmark. Day's going good, just kind of started out. Yeah, we're going to have Swain Plank after this, so decided to build a couple of little bit different decks today. I wanted to play some City Breaker. Got a couple copies of City Breaker in the Swain Plank deck. Alright, so we'll just kind of keep those Daybreaks going. We're going to attack before they play the... Um, the 3-3, three, three. that's like the best card ever. That thing, Endless Devout. Um, Radiant Stars may not be bad. Let's go with that. Find either a really big Leona or a really big Yasuo. It's not too bad. Deny could be really good against the... I mean, I'm so bad with card names sometimes. The 2-4. Yeah, anyway, the uh, the 4 mana 2-4 that like blows up a landmark and gets a 5-3 and stuff and we get denied that ability. That could be kind of cool. I'll just pass. They want to waste mana too? Alright. Punish transgressions. Clear your love in the Zillion Swain deck. Very good. Hey, Nate Dog. Glad to hear. 
another endless devout. These cards are good. All right, so you're pretty big. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Robin. Could be a mini morph tech. That'd be sad, but that's possible. Behold the sun's holy light. Dude, this battle academia Leona looks cool. I don't think we've ever used this Leona before. Definitely need to play more Leona. If I stumble, I have the earth to catch me. I kind of feel like that's a destroy landmark deal for. Yeah, that, that's what that should probably be. But not eternal. Okay. So deny or homecoming. <clears throat> I guess it's probably better to use just use deny. Let's see if I homecoming, I can bounce like this. And that. And then that thing's a 5-3, so it blocks Vitalia, but it does put the minefield back in their hand. And so they get to just play minefield again next round. And that's what I don't like about that. I don't like that they get to play minefield again next round. Surrounds you. The sun's splendor reveals. Underestimate. I dare you. So the bad part, of course, I don't have the mana for homecoming. You to join us. That would have been a good time to homecoming. Think it fast. Cute. Yeah, that heaven's line's pretty good with Robin. So one mana, stun something, plus <laughs> create a nightfall card and a daybreak card. That's not bad. You know, of course, give these plus plus two plus zero each. So they have three blockers. If I attack out, they probably block Blade Twirler, Blade Twirler, Robin, and take four. Give them a lot of those landmarks. God, man, Endless Devout is so good. Because I don't want to give them those sarcophagus. I guess we do, though. Devotion to battle. Hopefully they have no more yes, right of the yes. arcane, I think it is. The three mana deal fours. Hopefully no more of those. And I'm perfectly fine with those blocks that kill my Solari Priestess. And hopefully they can't kill my Robin. Alright, so they're down to four. Yeah, this is going to be a close game. This is going to be close. I can see this going either way. Is 
They had all three Hexplosive Minefield. Or no, no, that's right. Talia created one. <clears throat> so I technically had two. But the good thing is none, none of the eight drop here now. So I can just take seven. Or, sorry, take four, go to seven. You know, obviously I could homecoming and put that back in their hand, but that doesn't seem like a great idea to put Tali back into their hand. Could also just simply block here. Strike while the planet's alive. Um... I guess if I would, if I just switch, oh, I should just, I should have switched those. I would have saved two life. I'd be at nine instead of seven. I should have switched those two. All right. Try to bounce. They don't have the mana for a right of negation. I don't really know what they. Could have. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the fast speed spell is that they would have. All right, we'll take it. Want to know? I forget the sounds messed up on this. If I click away. Okay, Jace Lux. So these triple denies should hopefully be pretty useful. Uh, we can get rid of. Get rid of Blade Twirler, get rid of Twin Disciplines. We'll keep Telescope into Priestess, kind of look for Deny. No Denies there. Of course, we're going to have like one card that's really good in this matchup, and we're not going to draw it at all. So come on, Deny or a Champion? No, <laughs> or just not find any Deny or Champion ever. Crescent Strike, of course, is really good with Yasuo. Deny? 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 No. Never lucky. Because they, they played the six-mana spell here. It would be so good to deny it. I guess they... Alright, cool. We got one more round that we can maybe draw tonight. Uh, the Warrior can challenge their champs. I may want to just, you know, draw my champion again. Like, that Raiden Stars was pretty nice last time. Deal, deal one, deal four is not bad either. Or the deal four, deal one is not bad either. Because, like, my two one, you know, like, we have, like, these two power things. So, like, their three threes are going to have one point of damage on them. Kind of like that. Like, this will kill two things. <laughs> yeah, imagine getting your best card for a matchup. I know, right? That'd be a dream. Deny. Well, we at least drew a champion. I suppose that's all we get. Let me know if you still want them science lessons, Chase. <laughs> will do, Axel. All right, well, I guess I'm going to Meteor Shower. It's not bad. Come on, Deny. Never lucky. Never lucky. Got one Daybreak card so far. I help when I can. Shut up when I can't. Warms the heart and lights the way. Comic's good against. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Um, Lux. Let the light guide you. So I don't even have like any protection really if I just like drop Yasuo right here. I guess I can pass. See if they want to waste spell mana. Yeah, 
It'd be nice to play like Yasuo first, then Sunhawk stun, but of course you have to daybreak this. I feel like they have the six mana deal three to two different things. Like I play Yasuo, they deal three to Yasuo and kill my Blade Twirler, and we're kind of in a rough spot at that point. Yeah, three mana get two three threes is pretty good. It's, it's, it'd be really good to deny. <laughs> if we could only have it deny. Only. The power of the immortal sun. Sunlight blinds. Underestimate. I dare you. Only we could have a deny. That's good for me. That's a lot of mana. Try to keep up. Seven, eight, nine, ten. If I play this, we're looking at nine mana next round. It's so like four, five, six, seven. Think it yeah, fast. I think play Cute. It. Good, 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 good. Yes, that's, that's a that was a good draw. Why can't I have a deny ever? Like one deny and this game's over. <laughs> like, ugh. never lucky. Death is like the wind, always by my side. Glory unrelenting. Their guilt is evident. Alright, so it's definitely good for us that they played that Persuader before attacking, so we have to play the Crescent Strike. I, I know I could have Twin Disciplines and saved all those other things, but I'm keeping Twin Disciplines to protect Yasuo. Alright, Daybreak's done. Oh, I guess the second one does five. I could have, I didn't have to do both of those, but oh well. I thought I was at three for Yasuo, not four. Yeah, I kind of wasted it on that three one, but oh well. Yeah, I'm sorry, I misplayed. Because basically, it's, I could have killed like the three three instead of the three one, or I could have dealt five damage to this Mage Seeker Insider. Yes, yeah, so they could have like a 3-1 and a 6-1. Probably don't trade. Because of Homecoming. <laughs> Will do, Axel. Infinite Mind Splitter sounds interesting. Steal over sorcery. That sounds pretty interesting. Slow down. I'll just take another like huge seven drop, like Shark Trainer, I guess. I don't really see the other two cards helping out that much. Very kind of you to grace us with your presence, my lady. What's up, Rose? Yep. Shut up. I built both these decks this morning. Ugh. Everything's too expensive. 
I want to play Infinite Mind Splitter, but I want Infinite Mind Splitter to get the 6 6 and the Jace. Looks like we get two, two mage seekers. Well, if it isn't the man of tomorrow. Hey, back to work if you don't want to be the lady of yesterday. Hey, show me that again. All right, so we'll have the Yone be able to double stun two of them. Oh man, it costs 14 mana for Robin, Morning Light, and Leona. Um, I guess I could Sunhawk. Sunhawk stun. Morning Light stun stun. They have one blocker. Blockers, not very many blockers. And that'll do. There we go. 2 and 0 oh for Yasuo Leona. GG's. Ooh, this is going to be difficult. Twisted Gangplank's a great deck. There's that deny. <laughs> denies like, hey, you wanted me last game? Or come show up this game. That's good enough, right? Wow. I think I'll probably just play this next round and attack for three. Bless the people and sear the heretics. Hello, new best friend. What a hit. Kai Reaper, what a hit. Be nothing left when I'm done. Cause yeah, they have Make It Rain now also. Man, this is not looking good. Alright, so Fallen Comet good against Gangplank. But then Golden Sister is just good against you know Golden Sister is good for like lifesteal, which we may need. But like besides Gangplank. Fallen Comet's not really good against kind of anything else. I'll t just take the Golden Sister. Wow. What a hand. Yeah, that's... That's running hot right there. All the way down to 14. Devotion to battle. So those trade, the Reaper comes into a 3-2, but I'd rather these trade than yeah, that than that kind of thing, than just take one. So deny there. So basically this is like deny would like kill a 2-1 and keep them from drawing a card. Which it's kind of the best thing I got this round, I think. I think that's better than playing anything else. And stone stackers, what a hand. That Reaper was a big time hit. Our sun will not set today. Now is one. The 
feel me in. Something for all of you. The hour is mine. I wonder if I should just not even attack with the four the lifesteal. They just didn't block my lifesteal unit? Like why not just throw like a stone stackers in front of it just in case? Shuffle. Well for the cards that they had. That went about as good as it possibly could be good for me. With the cards they had there. So this stuns the 4-2. Could go Yo could just go Yone and stun two things. Only three mana left. Cause I kinda wanna go Sunhawk and kinda wanna like Zenith Blade this Golden Sister. They just need Pokey Stick, though. Is the one true light. They probably have Pokey Stick, right? Yep. Alright, it's so a good thing I, we didn't use that. Um, I guess we just deny that again. Keep them from drawing another card. But they don't have the mana for Poison Dart. Glad they didn't just block my life steal earlier. That's that'd be weird blocks. Alright. So Twisted Fate's still alive. That's kinda like their hope right now is like level up Twisted Fate, I suppose. Oh, they got a game plan. Oh, only three out of five. Alright, not too bad. Only three out of five. Let them bleed out. Insolence. Go down to thirteen. Witness divinity. That's eighteen. But they get to keep Gangplank alive. I mean, like, am I really dying from 18? Like, probably not. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. I've never tried this chemical before. Or a five out of nine. Dude, Heaven's Align making a Robin is nice. And that will do. Good win. I always mess up the sound if I click over here to try to update the record, but I want to update it because it's three and oh. Gangplank Sejuani. It's not getting any easier. <laughs> That's for sure. Not getting any easier. Alright, send that back, Jack. I think we just keep both loping telescopes, even though like a make it rain would be pretty devastating, but I mean they are loping telescope. Like that card's pretty amazing. <laughs> you think Leona and Robin should be swapped? Robin's the real champ. 
Yeah, you're you're not wrong. Ours is the one true light. A five six, like that's the biggest five drop. You know, five six. There's no other five sixes, right? The only way to not take damage is by playing the Sunhawk. But I like saving Sunhawk for, you know, like, Gangplank and Sejuani, right? To stun them. But then again, we'll probably have other ways to stun those by that t by that point. So maybe we do this. Because I don't want to take damage, right? Because then I don't want these things to level. So that keeps those... Keeps them from getting any damage in this round. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. The other two cards are too expensive, but I don't know. Treasures of the ages for a price. I don't know if the serpent's really doing much. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that serpent's doing. Say your farewells. Like I was thinking about playing it and challenging that Jagged Butcher so they didn't get to block the Jagged Butcher, but I don't know if that's really worth it. So I could play the Trickster next round. I couldn't play the Yordle Ranger, but the Yordle Ranger is a little bit better. Just of a card. Like, I'd rather have Yordle Ranger. Trickster does stop Sprayfin. I'm just going to have to go with Trickster. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Should have gone with the six drop, because I had Robin this round. Daylight, so Laddie control all that her want touches. I rarely forget and never forget. La, 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 la. Mm. Scum. Just you? I think just you. Carved from the savage cold. They had a good hand. I guess it's Falling Comet. Falling Comet kind of expensive. Bask in her radiant blessing. Ride onward. Hmm. One man short from Sunhawk plus Comet, but all right. So Yone. We are we just gonna stun the two champs? I think we just stun the two champs. I'll do what must be done. <laughs> you hate parlay so much. Yeah, that's a really good champion spell for Gangplank to have. Just that one mana, as we saw there. I'm not greedy. My friends. <laughs> What's the rush, huh? Well, they could definitely level Sejuani if they have another. Warning shot this round now. Looks like it. Oh, they snagged my homecoming? Wow. I guess they nabbed that one before with the Black Market Merchant. 
It wasn't the card they just nabbed. I was gonna say, I basically have no fast speed, from, you know, like I don't have fast speed stuns like Concussive Palm and stuff like that in here. That's what I was about to say, but I forgot there's two homecomings. So there's two, <laughs> two fast speed removal spells in the entire deck. Man, they really had a great hand. Explosives. So they're gonna frostbite everything. They're gonna Yordle Grifter to have another frostbite. Yeah, this is. I had a great hand. Okay, three and one. They played a champion on five, two champions on round five, and a champion on round six. I did not have a champion. That's the thing about playing Yasuo, is you never actually have Yasuo. Like, <laughs> in all these games, we've never had a Yasuo. Except, for, like, early. Like, one game we drew it later, but you never you never see, like, a, a Yasuo in an opening hand. We're 0 for 5 on that. I wonder if I'm supposed to keep Twin Disciplines against Caitlyn Senna. Like, you know, like, one of them. We'll send one back. Like, do we want to just keep all three of these? kind of think so. Ours is the one true light. So I think in all these games, we've, in five games, we've only actually had one Yasuo, but it wasn't an, Remember, wasn't an early one. And we've had two Leonas? And one of the Leonas is because I played the four mana card that draws a champion. <laughs> so that's how we got one of our Leonas. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Can a spirit fight to the death? Thinking I'll learn soon. Watch your backs! No mercy for heretics. Let's go, people! Keep it up! Okay, found Yasuo. The Meteor Shower could kill both champions, Senna and Caitlyn, you know, 3-3, three, 4-4. Three, four, four. Uh, so I kind of want to go with that. It's either that or the Written in Stars, and like drawing another champion. We'll go with the Meteor Shower. Well, I did say I wanted to see the world. If I attack in with the Solari Priestess, man, what a what a hand. They've had five one drops? So those things are all gonna be three threes. Those will be annoying. Sure, thanks. Thank you for wasting your mana. I appreciate you. No, because if I attack and they vile feast my one one, then theirs turns into a three three and kills my two two. And it's like, then it, it does have one damage on it for the Meteor Shower, but then we're looking at taking a good amount of damage on the way back. In her radiant blessing. Man, that's awesome. It wasted a lot of mana. You really don't want to play stuff. Or we can take a Champagne Supernova, that can obliterate a couple of things. I don't know if this is really saving, worth saving that play twirler like that. There's a lot of darkness out there. Let's make some of our own. Forward. Fifteen. Sleep for the guiltless. Yes, that's a good draw.
So I'm bouncing the Senna because it costs a lot of mana. <clears throat> if I, but you know, like with the with the Yasuo doing two damage, if I try to bounce a Burgeoning Sentinel, it would do two damage to it and kill it. I still think I just have them spend a lot of mana. I think. Uh, that's kind of annoying. All right, this was a mistake. Yeah, this was a mistake. Yeah, I made a mistake here. Blessed daylight surrounds you. Keep your distance. I should have let it happen and, and then just played Robin. Did not need to use that four mana there. I should have saved that four mana and just not played that. Reconsider. Man, these things hit hard. Oh, these hit hard. Want to see these moves up close? All right, I threw this game away with that homecoming. But I was very patient. They played it. They played it well. I threw it away. Darkness and light. Threw the game away. And then also just taking the supernova really ended up being the wrong choice because then then that meant that I didn't want to play my meteor shower. Because hmm. I didn't want to get get rid of that, so made some wrong decisions here in this game. That's so it makes Legends of Runeterra a good game, though. It's not, it's not easy ever. Man, I just can't play Meteor Shower because of this stupid Supernova. I really messed this game up. I didn't even get a Daybreak card off Rob. I really messed this game up. That Homecoming was a terrible play. I'm just full of regrets right now. How to lose a game by just playing one card. Always believe right there. Alright, so a really frustrating way to end that last game. Threw it away with the homecoming, but that's going to happen. And then also the Supernova pick was uh, definitely like just hamstrung me and, you know, everything there. But yeah, you saw it. Anyway, um, really good deck. I mean, I would love to play that matchup again. I think that we could do just fine in that matchup, especially with Denies for like seeing the cards in their hand, you know, like the cards they have and stuff like that. Um, I really think, you know, that really could have been a 4-1. Um, but really good showing, I think, for, for uh, Yasuo Leon. I think this deck looked quite strong, even though we really didn't have, like, great hands all the time. You know, like, we hardly ever had either champion. Um, you know, it was a real struggle finding our champions. Um, you know, didn't have denies when we needed them against the one deck. Um, but still, you know, still only, you know, only really lost to, like, the one great Gangplank Sejuani hand. That last one, it was just completely my fault. 
Um, so yeah, that, that's a great showing. So I think that our, our deck really performed well. The One Heavens Align performed well uh, with Raven and things like that. Raven just looks so good at being a 5-6 now. So good looking list here for Yasso Leona. Sorry, sorry about not making that a 4-1. Really should have been. All right, but that's going to be it for this video. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments if you try the deck out yourself. If you're looking for a competitive Yasuo deck, definitely recommend giving this a try. Um, it's not always easy. You know, you don't. You know, you'll you can make wrong decisions like I did, but because uh, you know you have a lot of decisions here with you know all these cards, you know with your invokes and manifest and everything like that. But hopefully you. Uh, play well and win and draw your champions and win some games but that's going to be it for Yasuo Leona so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video